guys, it's Shania from the Red Fairy Project. I hope you're doing well. So welcome to week two of maintaining your motivation and momentum in the month of March. So one thing, and you saw the thumbnail, uh, maybe you thought it was kind of weird talking about um, lowering the bar. And this is something, every time I speak to people regarding um, motivation and people that say, oh, I don't know how you do it, you work out every morning and I've known you for years and you're so consistent with your healthy eating, blah, blah, blah. So, uh, it, okay, first of all, I'm not perfect. I have mornings where I, I press snooze and I have days where I don't eat that well. Um, but I have to say, I'm very proud and I'm very happy that I have been very consistent with all my health and wellness habits for year, like for over a decade now um, and one of the things I learned I think it's one of the most precious lessons you can learn to be successful in your health uh, and happiness journey is being kind with yourself and lowering the bar so I think that Often we get all excited, so let's say it's the beginning of the year and we set a resolution or something just makes us like motivated motivated during the year to start a new habit and we aim a little too high we're not necessarily realistic anything that touches your health and wellness really usually affects your lifestyle and changing your lifestyle is not something that should be taken lightly and it's not something that should be um, underestimated either so um, I think at first maybe we can maintain that big change on the short term because we are so excited but when we start losing that motivation and that momentum, then whoop, all of a sudden we start um, maybe um, skipping on whatever healthy habit we had developed. So for me, what I find, especially if I think of like more difficult moments in my life where I kind of didn't feel like sticking with whatever good habit um, uh, I usually um, had, is being kind with yourself. And I think my first video, my first video that I ever did was about that and I was walking and I had a thought because um, I went for a run and I remember somebody passed by me and I went for, I think it was like my first run of the year was springtime, it was still kind of cold and I ran for like, I don't know, a minute and I was like exhausted and out of breath and I saw somebody like pass me by and I had a bit of an unkind thought and I thought to myself, well, okay, so what did I expect of myself for this run? Did I expect to run for like 25, 30 minutes? Uh, effortlessly <laughs> so I think maybe I had set the bar too high on that run on that day and I said you know what like next time next run I have this week I'm just going to aim to run a few times maybe a minute or two and then I'll walk and then I'll run again for maybe a minute or something like that and once I did that I felt so much better um, partly just because I was being kinder to myself but also because um, I kind of set up these bite-sized goals and I met them and then that builds your confidence to then maybe increase those goals or maybe lower the bar a little bit and then you meet that goal and then you it's like that's the natural flow of life when we start walking which we start crawling and then we walk and then we run well that's kind of how a lot of things in life evolve so if you're somebody that's not active at all or if you're somebody that let's say eats junk food every other day don't expect to start eating salads every day or going to the gym seven days a week I mean I mean maybe some people can do that that's great but I think that's quite rare and it's probably quite a shock <laughs> to to the system and to your your daily habits and all that so I think you really need to ease into it and so if, for example, at the beginning of the year you did set a certain goal or you did have certain resolutions and now you've completely forgotten them or maybe you kind of like you're kind of half still respecting them or whatnot and you don't feel so great, think about like maybe just pressing reset and saying, okay, what small baby step goal can I set for myself? And that's often uh, what I um when I say to people, so the other day I had a colleague at work and, and she was saying that she used to be quite active and now she wasn't anymore and she had a really harsh dialogue um, about herself and all that. So that I would say infuse a lot more kindness into that language, uh, into those words, into those thoughts. But also don't think that even if you used to, let's say, exercise five days a week and now you're not doing anything, don't try to go back immediately. Just ease into it and say, I'm going to exercise once a week. Or if it's, let's say, meditation, 
how I incorporated that into my daily habit, I started with one minute in the morning, just one minute, and I did that for months, but I was consistent. And that's the other thing, when you set the bar lower and you have these bite-sized goals, it allows you to be consistent, and that consistency creates confidence, and that's a really important formula. So consistency creates confidence. You start believing in yourself again, and that creates um, that it wakes up that motivation that might have disappeared for a while. So try that in whatever aspect of your life that you're struggling. It could be your finances, it could be something in your relationship that you're struggling with, it can be at work. Whatever it is, if you've lost that motivation, lower the bar and then meet that goal and then raise the bar a little bit and then meet that goal. But always, always, always be kind with yourself, be realistic. Don't look at what everybody else is doing around you. Put your blinders on and really, really focus on your goals at this point without even comparing in the past how you might have achieved those same goals within a certain timeline, whatever that just really, really be in the present moment. So let me know, do you have an aspect in your life that maybe you're struggling with a little bit right now regarding motivation? Do you maybe, um, after watching this video, do you realize that maybe like the bar was like way up here? And I have to say, like in, in complete transparency, I sometimes uh, ask too much of myself and this is why I can share this is because I, I realize that I, I have done that and I'm sure I'll still do it again in certain aspects of my life and I realized with time that I needed to lower the bar because I know that I can be very um, demanding of myself so uh, that doesn't make you feel great usually <laughs> so um, I hope this was useful and uh, I will see you next week love you guys bye